Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Friday Sews. I'm Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channels. First, I beg your forgiveness for missing last Friday. I wanted to do last Friday, but I got caught up, and I'll explain that in just a moment. First, I want to say that Friday Sews is a little bit of sewing and a little bit of life. And I think today it's going to be more life and less sewing. I have been so caught up with my trailer transformation. If you haven't been following that, I've been filming uh, every Tuesday about my uh, remodel of our travel trailer and it's so at the end. And I showed all of our fruit of our labor last week and um, I'll give you a scoop for next Tuesday. It's actually at our trailer guys right now. So uh, I do have a few things to finish on it and I'm pausing that until I get it back. So I have more to tell you on Tuesday. As far as sewing, I'm wearing a new dress. So after all of that, sewing for my trailer, sewing for my trailer, I just wanted to make something fun and easy. So I made a hoodie dress. Have you seen my hoodie dresses? Actually, this is the third one that I made out of this particular pattern. So. It's been an evolution, and I have some ideas actually for some more changes, so <laughs> it's still evolving. Um, so I'm really happy to have another one of these, and um, let's see. First, let me tell you why I didn't do Friday Sews last week. So I intended to do it, I usually like to try to think about it on Wednesday, film on Thursday, and post it Thursday night for Friday morning. That's usually my flow. And... Uh, I was busy with the trailer Wednesday, busy with the trailer Thursday, and Friday I was just going to film in the morning and post it in the afternoon. I had thoughts, I had ideas of things I was going to say, and I think I said this in my Tuesday video, so I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I got this wild idea that I needed more fabric for my trailer. So I went on a search, and I knew my local Joann's did not have it, so I went to Sacramento, and I went to three Joann's, and I never found the fabric. So what a bummer, right? But... Since I was down there, I thought, I'm just going to go by David's Bridal and see if I can get some ideas for this dress that I'm going to make for the wedding. Because, you know, I just, I just still hadn't settled on what that dress was going to be. So I found one and I went in and it was overcrowded. Overcrowded. You couldn't even try on anything without an appointment. And I had gone down this clearance racks, clearance racks, everywhere was just clearance racks. Mostly um, bridesmaids dresses and of not very many wedding gowns. This was about dresses, you know, like not wedding dresses. And there was a, a lot of mother of the bride stuff, but more bridesmaids. And so I started going through there and I found one. I thought, I might like to try this on. And so I went and said, can I try this on? And no, mm -mm, you have to have an appointment for that. And I'm like, well, um, she goes, I can put you on the waiting list. And I'm like, okay. Let me look around some more. So I looked around some more. I found two more to try on. <laughs> so I went back and I said, how long's the wait? And the lady looks at me, do you need help? Do you need like someone to do your zipper and help you figure out how to put the dress on? And I'm like, um, no. And she goes, then I can sneak you in right now. It's the help they were low on, not the rooms. So I went in and tried on three dresses and guess what? All three were gorgeous. All three were lovely. Uh, Two of them had like little issues, like just things that weren't just so. And one of them was beautiful. Let me show you a picture. What do you think about flip flops? <laughs> I'm just gonna run get the dress. Oh my gosh, this dress is so comfy. So it has no zipper because it's super stretchy and it has these nice slits on the arms, but it really does just flatter. And I also wanted to be kind of not showy. I think I said that, and this dress is just elegant and simple. It's navy, and it has this trim on it, which is just really a pretty gray, um, silvery thread, so it's not super shiny like um, beads would be or any of that. I am in love with this, so I bought it. I bought it. You're all thinking, what? She cheated. She's supposed to make her dress. And you know, I was thinking about that. You know, I can always take it back, and... <sighs> Here's what my, I want to make a, like a confession right here and right now. I don't sew well under pressure. And I think it never became more apparent than this dress situation. I was stressed on my granddaughter's graduation dress, very stressed, but this was even worse. 
it was just even worse. I just was, I just didn't, it was not, if I have to sew under pressure, it takes all the fun out of it for me. I just want to piddle. Like, I just want to, you know, just kind of do whatever. I, I don't want to have to think about it too much. I don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to be, oh my gosh, this has to turn out. I don't want that. I mean, I want to be able to like look at this garment and say, eh, don't like it. Or, ooh, love it. Make another one. So, oh my gosh, is my camera crooked this whole time? It, like, I'm going to straighten it out. I don't know. I had trouble with the little thingy that holds it. It's just like it's slowly falling. <laughs> I'm leaving it because I'm in that kind of mood. Get things done. So, I am going to apologize that I am not making my grandmother of the bride dress for the wedding because I'm going to wear this. I'm super excited. Now that fabric is still in my stash and if I have time, I was thinking of making a, a little a little sundress with it, you know, something simple. Um, I like the one with the ties on the shoulder and I thought that would be kind of cute with that fabric and be dressy for like a dinner. If there's a dinner, there might be like what, a um, rehearsal dinner. I don't know how traditional this wedding is going to be. I'm really not in the planning. So uh, I might make a dress, I might not. I just have no pressure. I took off the pressure. I can make another hoodie dress if I want. Uh, it's my sewing. My That's why I don't sew for others. I feel selfish when I tell people that because sometimes people see something cute like a best friend or a daughter. Will you make that for me? And I'm like, um, no. Because it's not fun. What's fun in that? Making something for... I mean, oh my gosh, I'm sounding so selfish. You guys make things for others all the time. And I admire you for that. I do. And I will give away things like little things that I've made. But I don't want to be a sewer for other people. It's just not fun to me. Like, I, cu I couldn't imagine sewing as a business and selling my sewing. I just... Oh, I don't know. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I, I just want to play and make things that are fun. And just enjoy the process. So, what am I sewing next? I don't know. I really, literally don't know. So, where I'm sitting right now, I have a few days until my trailer comes back. Maybe. It might come back today or tomorrow. Um, and then I have curtains to finish. And I, I was going to work on them without the trailer. I shouldn't say this. It's all two trailer stuff. But um, I really need to make sure I can double check. Because I have made mistakes. And so, I'm not going to sew anything for it until it's back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... My plans are, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. I know I want to think about what to wear camping. Okay, let's just talk about this because uh, some of you love camping and watch my video and wish they could go camping. And some of you say, well, it's good for you, but no thanks. And I actually am in that camp. I do like camping, but I don't like some parts of camping. And camping clothing is something I do not like. Uh, I'm going to sound snobby here. It's not that I don't want to wear shorts and a t-shirt. It's just that's not comfortable to me, man. A hoodie dress is comfortable. There's nothing pinching my waist or just sucking me in. I'm just like, oh, come on. It's comfortable. Why can't I just be comfortable? People think I'm too dressed up. And also, I wear makeup. So when I'm camping, that's one of the things I do in the morning is put on makeup. And so it's like makeup, cute clothes. Yes, I get teased when I'm camping. I do. And... They're just used to me. So I don't know what I'm going to wear camping. A uh, year before last, maybe it was last year, I bought a bunch of t-shirts and fixed up some cute shorts. I have all of those to bring, but honestly, it's I don't, I don't look forward to wearing them. I'd rather be in a hoodie dress. And um, I bought, hold this thought, I want to show you something. <sighs> okay, I'm back, out of breath, ran down the stairs, moving this dress out of the way. I don't want anything to get on it. So I bought this skirt. I don't know. I was with a friend shopping and it is so soft, so stretchy, made of bamboo. Oh my gosh. I love bamboo. I need to find sources where I can buy the fabric just like this. Underneath is a pair of shorts. So I thought, I thought it's shorts, but it's still a skirt. And I just think that would be so fun to wear camping. Okay. You're, you're saying, Stephanie, that's still not camping. That's still, get some jeans, right? I'll bring my Mountain View jeans. I'm definitely going to bring those. But I started thinking, I'm going to wear this. I need it to be hemmed. It's below my knee. It kind of looks like funny. Uh, so I'll just, I, I'm shorter. You know, I'm on the shorter side. I'm not super short, but I'm on the shorter side. So I usually have to take up the hem on most things. What if, I have a lot of 
fabric left over from this. What if, what if it had shorts? <laughs> Do you remember that? Like in the 70s? I used to have these short dresses that were too short and they had, uh, they were called sizzlers. A little history for you. They were called sizzlers because they had like little matching panties that went with the dress. They weren't even shorts. They were more like the shape of underpants. And um, then you could kind of, you could kind of bend and stuff and people wouldn't really see your underwear, even though it looked just like underwear, but it matched the dress. This is silly. But what if I made some little shorts out of this? Is that stupid? Nonetheless, I could just make a few pairs of black shorts and wear them under my hoodies. Um, when I'm camping, I will wear the hoodies with leggings. So what's the difference if I put a pair of shorts underneath so that if I want to like bend over when I'm hiking or sit in the chair, uh, I don't know. I'm having lots of thoughts. So this weekend I will settle them down. I'll probably have a mix of shorts and t-shirts, jeans, leggings, hoodies, hoodie dresses. What do you think? I'm, that's my plan is to figure out, well I gotta hem this so that's sewing and I don't have to do anything to that. So uh, my plan is to figure out what I'm wearing on this camping trip and I'd like to film it before I go so I can post it while I'm gone. So I will tell you this right now, if you come back for Friday Sews next week, I'll show you what I'm bringing and you can, you can let me know if I'm being silly or not. <laughs> but you know what, you know what I will be when we're camping? I will be comfy. That is key. Uh, I'm also going to look at my bathing suits because I made two and I never really reviewed this pattern. I probably ought to because I do love my bathing suits and I might try to make one more. It was so easy. It's the Patterns for Pirates Melo, Melio, I don't know how to say it, but um, those are the two I will be wearing if we go in the water, which we probably will because we bought two new blow up kayaks. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I might just wear shorts and a t-shirt when I go in that. I don't know. So, uh, camping. It's pretty much 100% on my mind right now, and I will be home for five days, pretty much, and then we go to the wedding. So I need to start thinking ahead on clothing for both, and my husband just has no clothes. He has no clothes. He has monogram shirts for his business, and he wears those all the time, and so I think I'm going to have to go. He's so busy trying to... He has to... When you work for yourself, you don't get to take time off. You just don't. Because if you're not working, you're not making money. And you're not making money, what are you supposed to do? So he's been working over time to try and pre prepare for these times off, even though he'll still have to do a lot of work on his computer and stuff while we're vacationing and, and taking these trips. But he's trying to get as much done as possible, see as many clients as possible, so he has no time for shopping. What am I going to do? Like, I, I, I don't usually shop for him. He usually shops for himself. I'm thinking I just need to go buy a whole bunch of stuff, bring it home, let him try it on, keep what he wants to keep, and then take the rest back. So, he needs two wardrobes. <laughs> he needs something for camping and something for this family trip because you can't wear your, your business shirt for those things. Come on, you know. Anyways, that's my thought. So, we'll see. I might have to take time for that, too. Um... So come back for Trailer Tuesday. Uh, I'm super excited to share. It will be back by then because we, we leave on Wednesday. I think I'm gonna hem that, make a couple pairs of shorts, see if I can perfect a little pattern for shorts. Maybe just make something up and uh, like yoga pant shorts. And then I can just wear them under my dresses. If I wake them all black, they'll go with everything, right? I thought matching fabric would be cute. It's too, too much, right? <laughs> Who's gonna see it? What are you looking at my dress for? Huh? It's just for me. Okay, so um, you're caught up. Thank you so much for stopping by. I just feel like there's so much more I wanted to tell you, but now I don't remember. Uh, no, that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. I'll see you Tuesday and Friday. And who knows? Who knows? But thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.